What's up guys, Carol Five here and today I'm in the gonna look at the new vehicles for the new update and today we're starting in the desert in the rapid desert rapid is that what they call it? One second. Is that what you call it? Rapid Desert Rapid, yeah I fit. I said it's back on the first time and we're gonna show you how fast it goes how good it actually is there we are you're going to test speed of the thing you're going to test the quickness and all that right. I think it's really nice because it's really cool it's a real bonus I think as well Nice tool and and I like it so comment down below guys what you think of this new vehicle I rate it out of the scale of 1 to 10 I rate this uh, car an 8 out of 10 not the brilliant car I've met no I have people like James is a 9 Cadwell with the 10. People say it's really good this car, well uh, I rate it as an 8 guys. And with the I've, I've used it most of the day. And it's quick and it gets you where you want to go and I really like this car. So yeah, on with the next one. So guys we're on now with the Proton K K Wars is I say. Or K Wars I say. But anyway, I like this car as well. Because if I just go into a flat bit of road. Go down here. So guys there with the pro junior project something, I don't know if not the second word is pro junior first word this car this thing. I love it, really quick, really fast, and it just is great with round corners as well, if you can just prove it as well, if I look at here, I'll show you around some corners, look, you don't really need to break, it is, look at that, it just glides around the corner, pretty quickly, look, and it shows, this is a beast of the car, I rate this, I can't make it the same as the one we just used, but I rate this, as, I rate this an 8 out of 10, no, a six up, a seven out of ten. It is really good. Just a little bit slower than I thought, and it would be eight out of ten, seven out of ten. I put this one in because it's slower than I thought it would be. Not the quickest car I thought it would be, so I'm disappointed in that. But anyway, back on with the next car, and I think I really enjoy it though. But I do crash a lot in it. So yeah, on with the next. So hey guys as well, we're back now with the next car and it is the Vapid Trophy Truck. Now, I would say it'd be good on ramps and good on the section of the road with other stuff, but no, I don't like this truck at all. Look at it, horrible. Comment down below what you think about this truck, all the vehicles I'm going to show you today. Comment down below what you think about them. If you look, with ramps it'll be really good, with not ramps it won't be good high calibre though, good high suspension though. So if I had to pick this out of 10, I'll give it a 7, and, and I'll, give them, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. It's good for the desert areas where there's loads of hills, not good for city sections really where like look, it could just go straight into cars and it wouldn't really Go that well, not to 60 well, I don't know how fast that goes. But if you go onto the description onto San, San, Southern Andreas, this one here, look, look at the description. It's a 4x4, it's a 4 inches of suspension, so 40 inches of suspension. That's quite a lot of suspension. Top speed doesn't show, but it shows it is 
nearly high of the second to wait one two five fifth bar. That's pretty good. It is it's a U it's a SUV. That's not bad. It's a but lightweight frame. That's not, it's lightweight frame. It's for desert valley. It's meant for desert valleys and mountains. So not bad at all. Only fifth five hundred and fifty k if you want to buy it. It's just a nice little car and. Yeah, five out of ten is the reasonable choice of that. Not the best, and it, it but it but it does but it does actually act like a really good car though. On with the next one, which is the Imperia P no E T R one. Now, if I just stop here, look at it, and look at that. Look at the steering wheel, look, it has the, this is how quick he's going up on the steering wheel. And the steering wheel lights will say how, if you're going to need to up gears or whatnot. It looks, it looks, it looks clean. This car is the cleanest car that you've seen today on today's video. Because of this cleanness of this car, and this is the first car I bought, and the first one I really like. I give this car, I give this car a 9, an 8 out of 10. It is one of the, not the quickest of the ones that you're going to see on this video today. One of the sorry, not one of the quickest ones you're going to see video today. Uh, not really. Um, look at it. Do you like it? Do you like it from the pictures there? It is 1.9 1.9995 mil. I have about a lot more than that. It is a. It is only a car you will need ever need. Okay, so the only car you ever need. It is just into the last bar there, speed. Braking, not really that good on braking. Acceleration, really good on it, and the other one, really good on it as well. So, I think, really good car there. Just the downside on braking is the issue of that car, but if you're not in a city, braking's not an issue, really. And that's why I really like this car. Look, it zooms along. Let's put it into testing the braking quickly. We'll go quick quickly down here and then we'll brake. No, pretty good decent brakes actually I'll say. So I don't know why it's a two brakes, but I think this is the best one so far you've seen. And I'll give this an 8 out of 10. So now with the last car is the Anis ER 7B or 7, yeah, 7B or 78, whatever. If I just show you the look of the look of it, it looks like a, a NASCAR. No, not a NASCAR, so what I'm saying, the 24 hour cars. Brilliant speed, brilliant flicker, and I really enjoy this car in the city. You would love this car to go fast to work, yeah, fast around quickly places, going places with this car would be brilliantly on GTA. Even in real life you had this car you would love it. Uh, it's one of it's the fastest car that we have on this one to show you. As I just look at it again, look at that from the front here. It's a Pegasus kind of car it says on it. You can put in different ones here. Let's look and see what the pricing of this car is and we'll give the price ranges of every single car we've done today. That here it is. It's the same speed as the one we just looked at, but it is two point four seven five mil. So it's just a bit more expensive, but you can have it in that, or you can have it in this one. I got it with this one. And really good car. There. You look at the first car we did, this one. Same speed, diesel, these top three are all the same speed, and it's a two point five five mil, so it's not bad. This, but the one we're looking at here is this one, the 2.475 mil, really cracking car, to say the least, and it just proves to me to be one of the best cars on GTA at the moment, and really I'm not surprised that GTA has not decided to put any new faster cars in because, uh, since now, because all the cars they've had so far, like, are just not quick, like, there's only like one or two of the cars right now as you speak, that are quick, and then, Today, boom, they popped out some new ones that are super quick. 
because we're just going to demonstrate here, we're going to go stop and zero, is this zero? Yeah, zero, we're going to see how fast it gets to 60, we're going to stop on zero and see how fast it gets to 60 quickly, we're going to pop it there, if it's zero, go, stop, it's not 60, so maybe 2 to 3 seconds to get to 60, so I would say that's a really good way to do it, and it's a really good car. I rate this 9 out of 10, the highest we've had today, because it looked like a Le Mans 24 hour racing car, and it proved one of the best cars you will ever get on this game. So there you go guys, there's your cars from the new stunt one. There'll be a second part to the stunt one later when I go to my other garage and show you that on another video. So yeah, I've been Casual 5, and I'll see you for the next part tomorrow of the talking of the stunt racing of a stunt new update see you later